welcome back to another episode of isolation comedy we're doing it on a tuesday now apparently there's a lot and you guys need a break i hear people are going stir crazy so welcome welcome for joining us welcome for joining us i I'm going so stir crazy. Welcome to Isolation Comedy by Comedy Wham. Austin comics need a helping hand while they're kept away from the comedy stages. I've lost the three months of booking. Apparently, the first online comedy showcase in Austin, that's us. So welcome. Thank you for being a part of us. Um, if at any point you guys want to side chat, it is the most fun. Just hop on down right there and type a little message. Talk to the comics. We're pretty fun, but it is lagged, so... If you're talking about it, I've moved on probably. Each performer will have their social media and Venmo handle up. If, you're, if you love a comic, contribute to their Venmo directly to show your love and personalize that message because we're gonna read it. Just, you know, send a little compliment, a little snipe. You Give me a scent and diss me. You know, that's pretty fun. I'll take it. Let's chat about it. Also, if you, if you miss any of the comics, we're gonna put it at the end and you can also PayPal them too because Venmo's hard for some people, I don't get it. Also, um, if you would like to post about us, we're um, use and follow hashtag isolation comedy. Well, that's, that's all my to-dos, and now you guys know, this is not a stand-up comedy show, but it is with stand-up comics, and you guys honestly would not get these lineups if this was not you know, a fucking pandemic. Um, we have an amazing lineup for you tonight, We'll, we'll talk about their, their credits as they come up, but uh, boy, will they. Also, I will not be talking about the coronavirus. This is, I am done, I'm sick of it. I, I need a break and you guys are that for me. So, oh yeah, I'm drinking. Hey, cheers you guys. It's a uh, happy hour somewhere here. And, uh, and that's that. I, uh, I just wanna let you know that small talk has been a little weird for me. Um, usually before this, Everybody was talking about like, hey, you'd say, hey, how are you? And they go, I'm tired. Like that was just standard, standard. Everyone would go, I'm tired. I'm like, what's some useless fucking information is that? You know, like give me something interesting. These days you go like, hey, how are you? And then, and then somebody will be like, oh, I'm bored. Oh, I'm bored. So fucking is everyone, do you know? Give me something, tell me about my headband. It's something new I'm trying out and I like it, thank you. Also, how am I staying so fit? I'm not, it's all an illusion. Um, I've been doing sit-ups in between um, every time I die on um, Grand Theft Auto, which is a lot. I'm a little bit of a, a mischievous, mischievous <laughs> bastard. Um, and uh, sex, I've been doing a lot of sex. So, I mean, that's been getting boring. So my boyfriend bought me this um, uh, lingerie and it has holes in it. It's the gayest thing I've ever worn. Um, but all for the bod, right? <laughs> I don't know. I ate a bag of kale today. So that feels like, like progress. But don't, let's, enough about me, enough about me. Let's get on with these. I, we, we have an amazing show, as I told you. And our first performer is a man of my own heart. He sings, he dances, and boy, does he do wonderful accents. Put your hands together and please go grab a beer and make sure you Venmo and chat me. Put your hands together for Chris Hills. Chris Hills, you are my favorite boy. Morning, everybody uh colton thank you for that uh sweet intro i appreciate that um you know usually i would be singing and dancing and acting a fool but i can't because um you know um you know uh you know we just sit stuck sitting here right now you know just chilling you know uh, i i haven't um been able to do much i work with kids which uh, which makes me an essential worker. So I've been out and about, 
and uh, chilling. And, uh, you know, what sucks about working with kids during this time is, like, you know, like, one of them has it, but you don't know when, like, you know, if you're going to get caught with it. So I've been washing my hands a lot and uh, just been freaking out every time I'm with the kids. I don't touch any of the kids. They always try to. I don't, I don't even fuck with them like that, like that anymore. I don't, I don't, not, nope, not going to touch. Not talking. I don't, I don't even let them ski in my direction. Uh, but over the weekend, I did have a Roni scare. I call it the, I call it, first off, I don't call it the Corona or the Roni. I call it the Roni. It sounds much more fun. It makes me, it reminds me of uh, Bobby, Bra- Bobby Brown. You know, um, he used to say, you're my, my team, the Roni. And, you know, it just made, it, it sounds good to me. You know, it sounds good to me. I like uh, calling it the Roni. Um, but, uh, yeah, I had a Roni scare over the week. I had a headache. And that was it, just a straight up headache, man. And uh, you know, that's the thing that sucks about it. It's like you don't know. Like this starts off like you don't you don't know you have it until you have it. And it's like that sucks. And so I had like a headache and I had to call like my whole family, like to brief them and like like, hey yo, get the funeral plans ready and shit. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna survive after this one. Like it it sucks, and then it just turned out just to be a regular ass headache. I had Pringles, I had a whole bag, a whole not bag, a whole can of Pringles. And some ice cream the other day, and I had a headache. That's what happened. That's the whole thing that happened. And I, just, I just couldn't face myself because you're just sitting and chilling all day and eating food. But anyways, um, uh, I get to I'll get to some of my like my favorite jokes that I like to say. Um, <laughs> uh, speaking of working with kids, what's cool? Uh, what sucks about working with kids is like you have to like monitor what they say and shit. And I work in like uh, Westlake, which is like the most rich part of Austin. So, and you already know that Austin's gentrified. So if it's rich, it's real white. It's like uh, ranch mayonnaise white up there. It's ridiculous. And um, one day um, I heard one of the little kids, um, it was at this field trip. And I heard this one little kid go, um, yo, yo, look at this nigga fish. Look at this nigga fish. Look at this nigga fish. And I'm like, hey, hey, wait a minute. Uh-uh, nah. You know, don't, 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 don't you ever say that. Don't you ever say that. I have to, you know, I have to call him out on it because, you know, you're, you, you got to teach him young. And I was like, don't, don't say that. And he was like, I'm sorry, Mr. Chris, I'm sorry. And he walked off. I was like, good. And then I looked at the t- fish tank and there was no, like, black fishes in there at all. And it turned, and uh, I looked at the name of the fishes and one of the fishes was called a Niger trigger fish. He was just trying to read. So, but at least he knows not to say the word now. You know, he ain't gonna say it now. He's uh he's well cultured on not saying that word. And I'm glad that I helped him not say um nigga anymore. Um anyways, uh yeah, doing stand up here, uh I'm telling jokes here it really sucks because I don't know if I'm being funny or not. But oh well, I'll hear it, I'll read it in the chat later on. Um uh, I used to um, I used to uh, live with feminists, and that sucked living with feminists because you know they also always get on my case about like, you know what kind of bread I'm supposed to eat. And they just like they just always be smothering me, and they they just get on my dick about a lot of shit, and it just sucks. And I'm like, yo, just get off my dick. Let me just live my life, and it whatever. Anyways, uh, one day I was watching the Martin Luther King speech one time. And this, you know, uh, one of my roommates come in talking about, uh, you know, Martin Luther King had an affair with numerous and numerous women. You know that, right? And I'm like, first off, all the women that he had, he had sex with, they consented. And second off, uh, I don't know, you know, second off, you know, I don't know why you're trying to ruin Martin Luther King's legacy of getting pussy. I, you know. I have a dream that I can have a legacy of getting pussy like Martin Luther King, and I promise I won't discriminate either. I'll be with black women and white women, Jews and Gentiles, uh, Protestants and Catholics, and we all join hands together and sing the words of the old nigga spiritual. I got some ass. I got some ass. Thank God Almighty. I got some ass. Anyways, uh, as um. Yeah, man, that's, I, yeah, that was, that. I don't know if that worked out. Did that work? 
I don't know if that, usually I'll be a lot more hyper and I'll be jumping around at that point in time, but we don't know. Thank y'all for watching the lives uh, and, you know, let me see. I'm going to try to do one more joke. It sucks doing this by myself, but oh well. Um, I want to I want to make a movie for kids because, you know, it's so easy to come out and move for kids. Um, it's so simple. Uh, you know, they came out with a whole movie about emojis. And it's like, what? The whole movie about emojis? Like, that's easy. So I'm going to come out with a movie just as simple as the emojis movie. It's going to be called Hat. It's about this hat, right? Going on an adventure, trying to get head. All right. That's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for joining. And please, please stick around and watch some more of the other comedians because they're so good. They're so good. He's one of my like my like closest friends. So y'all please watch, watch it. hills i mean i'll have to sing a little bit for you because he didn't i, I wanted more i wanted more uh but i'll have to do that later I, i've been writing a song called will you please like a handrail and it's offensive but it it speaks to my distaste for other people but hey we have another great comedian coming up for you her name is candace medina and <laughs> She co-wrote the, uh, that was, I mean, I don't know if you're watching, but what a fucking host fail. You don't say the name to the very end, and I just ate a big bag of dicks. So if you please forgive me for this next comic, who is the writer of Van Damme Jean-Claude. She has a new cooking show that you can find on her Instagram. She, it needs some money right now, so make sure you uh, Venmo her. Put your hands together and forgive my stupid idiot for Candace Medina. Candace Medina. a handrail you stupid bitch that was a song for colton what a dumb bitch he fucked up my whole intro what does it matter though who am i who am i who cares we're at the end of the world i'm candace medina i am america's sweetheart as you may or may not know me as probably not though um i don't know why that intro sounded so hype because i'm not gonna be hype at all i'm a little bit cross-faded i'm doing this thing called cross-faded kitchen maybe i don't know okay uh it's just about getting drunk or whatever your vice is and then cooking uh for pleasure or for pain whatever you're trying to do i'm not plugging that at all honestly i just they asked me to do this and i said yes because i'm currently looking for a financial dom uh you know like i don't or no i would mind the financial <laughs> looking for a financial sub i guess that's what it's called it's when like like I just spend your money and then like you just jerk off and like on camera or like in private. I we I think you get to set the terms. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I think my dad's watching this, which is fun. So I want to say hello to my dad, my OG daddy. Um, it's got a different context now, dad. Uh, yeah, it's different now. But yeah, looking for a financial Pers person who wants to support me financially in some kind of weird like gray area sexual thing um like I'm not gonna do anything weird though for it like I'm not gonna get naked and blast off on the internet like I'm just not gonna do that um but like I would like eat a corn dog in one bite for you for like 30 bucks um so just then mow me and I'll find a corn dog no problem that's it really it's been a weird week huh we're in a pandemic all of us inside how wild how crazy i don't know what you guys have been up to i've been keeping sane um by using just you know vices alcohol and drugs and that's okay because i also 
go to therapy. It's a sliding scale therapist. I paid $15 a week to go see her, which goes to show the level of therapy. It's awesome. She's amazing. We're like best friends now. I like to think it's a challenge for me. Um, like we're like OJ Simpson and like Johnny Cochran. Like we're like best friends. Like, and today I was just telling her, you know, jokingly, I was like, ah, I've been imbibing a lot more this week. I've been doing a little bit of drugs and alcohol. And she said, whatever you got to do to cope. So I jokingly said, I'm going to start doing heroin, I guess. And then she said, do you need to connect? And I was like, what? And then I realized she was joking. She was trying to be sarcastic and then had to put her in her place. I was like, bitch, I'm OJ. You're Johnny Cochran. If the noose fits, you must commit. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, welcome to... Uh, <laughs> I'm fine. It's fine. I've been blasting off to American Gladiator all day, just masturbating. Um, that's not true either. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, but no, today, welcome to the Crossfaded Kitchen. I got a little time left, so I'll make something fun with it. We're going to make a compound butter today, which just heightens your life experience in a lot of ways, and it's very flavorful. You can choose whatever herb you want. Um, I'm actually going to be choosing uh, oregano. This is just oregano uh, that you can use. You would want to use, um, and this is just for science and learning purposes. This is just a kitchen herb. Uh, it's called oregano. And what I'm going to do today is just make an infused oregano butter that you can use to make yourself feel better. Oregano is good for a lot of purposes, so they say. Um, but you're going to take about like, I don't know, like seven ounces to half an ounce of whatever herb of choice oregano and then you're going to cook it at 220 uh for a little bit and uh, you know 220 you're gonna do about 18 minutes if it's like the cheap mexican oregano okay that cheap shit this is organic this is hydroponic oregano that i got from a neighbor um because they're an organic farmer but we're gonna cook that down for this one this time you're gonna go 45 minutes to an hour then you're gonna cook it down in some butter i did some brown butter First. So I just cook that butter for a good 20, 30 minutes on medium low. You're going to see it get brown, all that water evaporate out. It's going to get very nutty. Once it smells nutty, it's great. Once that oregano is done, you're going to take your spice grinder. Um, this is my spice grinder here. Uh, I use it for lots of spices. You're just going to grind this spice up and then put it in your butter. You're going to mix that with about half, you're going to do eight ounces of butter, half a cup of water. Cook it on low, mix in that oregano or whatever herb of choice let that go for about four hours put it in the freezer water is going to separate from the fat there you go some medicinal oregano butter for you and your fighting pleasure um why did i say that i don't know uh i am on my lady time though <laughs> it's too far it's a minute left and I'm just gonna tell you about it. I've got do dominant hormones. So if you're watching at home and you're female, and if you're with child, you're gonna definitely wanna shut this video off because your body will self-destruct that baby. Just my hormones alone through the camera. Um, or you're gonna wanna double bag it if you're thinking about getting frisky tonight. I just follow my cycle by the moon. I think that's all I wanna talk about today. I don't know. I. Uh, Feel good about that. I feel good about all the information I gave you. Please, if you want to be a financial sub for me, follow me on Instagram at Chunker Nugget. The, the K is silent on Nugget. Um, and just send me a DM and we can arrange some sort of like cucumber eating or something weird that's not sexual because that's probably illegal. Thank you and have a great night. Cheers. our next comedian a very you know what you're so lucky these two people they rarely do shows together because they're both headliners this next comic uh he did uh san francisco S sketch fest he is on comedy central he features regularly at cap city put your hands together for smooth boy hunter duncan hunter duncan huh <laughs>
Whoa, that's my eye. I, I am too close. My name is Hunter and everyone has already told you that. So I don't know why I said it again. Uh, I have been loving this quarantine. Um, my girlfriend has moved in with me recently uh, before the quarantine really <laughs> would have rethought that if I knew this was gonna happen. But uh, no, this has been good. She brought some of her home decor in. Uh, here's a sample of uh, what, it's a, it's a faceless angel. Uh, which uh, is terrifying to have just on the counter. Um, I don't know why somebody spent money on this, but I'm glad to know it is now part of my daily life. Uh, this is a candle. This candle smells like, uh, smells like peaches, but there are oranges in here, okay? It's a candle cock tease is what I call it, and it's, uh, it's also part of my life. Oh, there's something else. Speaking of faceless angels, there's a lot of them. What is this? Looks like a baby urn, a faceless baby urn for a random trash baby that maybe, you know, call back to Jasmine. Uh, it says inside, if you open it, um, keeping treasured memories. And what's in it? A fucking penny. There is one penny and two uh, sticky, sticky jewels that I can only assume are a call back to her clubbing days. Uh, which I'm thrilled about. What else have I been doing? Oh, because I've got a girlfriend here with a lot of free time. Uh, she thought it would be cute if she uh, plucked my eyebrows. Um, so she decided to pluck my eyebrows. Now, I don't know if you see, this isn't where eyebrows end normally. Mine ended, you know, here, where a human eyebrow ends traditionally. This is where it ends here now. Anya, come here. Come here. Is this, come here. Is this where eyebrows end? Yes. Is this where eyebrows end? I don't, you just like it when, you just like the full plucking session where it kept going. Don't, that's not what I told you to say. I don't like, I didn't like it, but she just went, it was too much. What is this? This one also far, she left a couple of stragglers because I started saying, why is it, can I look? Can I see how far it's gone too far? And then in the middle, it's like a fucking great divide. There used to be, there should be more space in the middle. Look at that, that's too much. That's too much space. It's like the fucking, there should be a bridge in here. You know, I look like, I look stupid. Stupider than I already did. Um, well, what else is going on? Hey, they ate a bat, thought they ate a baseball bat, huh? Mm, is that what started this? I don't know. All right, well, you know what? Writing's going great during the virus. Uh, you know, uh, sex workers, you know, we could really use those right now, right? Huh? Having, having pussy delivered to your door, huh? Anya, what do you think? Yeah, yeah she loves it. Four. Um, wow, nine months from now, they're probably going to be a lot of uh, buying comms was too dangerous babies, huh? You know, going out, buying them, you're going to get corona, might as well leave it in, not pull it out. Thoughts? Nine months from now, I won't be living here. Hey, nine months from now, she won't be living here. Yeah. All right. Um, what else is going on? Well, I forgot to hit the timer, so God knows how long I'm going to be doing this. Uh, has anyone else been, you know, if you live with a loved one, am I the only one that's been just been most of their time locking themselves in the bathroom, right? Is that, that's the real quarantine within the quarantine, right? That's where you really get the alone time. You're locking to yourself in the bathroom. You're watching porn. You've watched so much now, you're not even jerking off. You're just, you're making comments on it. You're like, yeah, you know what? I might as well start weighing in, right? Be part of the process. Uh, all, the, all the comments on porn, they're always just like, it's like if moms were commenting on Facebook, they're like, wow, beautiful breasts or something. Like, oh, wow, stunning. I'm just like, wow, this is, is this what my mom is doing? Is this where the moms are when they're not... Yeah, all right. Uh, the Pope said that uh, you can now just confess to God. You don't have to confess to, you know, the priest anymore because it's too dangerous. Uh, yeah, I guess the, uh, the raging pedophile, you know, that wasn't that dangerous. But yeah, this, this is enough. You know, then you still got to talk to him. But Whoa, okay. Is that a little too ranty? All right. I can feel the non-laughs. I can feel you pull back even with, without... What else? Uh, well, no, that's not the something I should say. Anya, come over here, please. Yeah. 
You know, low, they on the news. You know, uh, have you have you watched the news lately? You've been watching the news. Come on, get in the screen. You've been watching the news. All right, alcohol. That's illegal. You've been watching the news. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, well, did you? I feel like they they need to start with the weather. They need to start doing uh, instead of because we got to get people to stay indoors. We got to start saying, hey, there's you know, have the news forecast be like, hey, there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, gay rain outside, right? <laughs> It's gonna make you gay uh, because I I don't I that wouldn't bother me but it's middle America that's who that's who's not going inside so we got to keep them inside right yeah keep the trucks barge and men straight or whatever I don't know Jesus Christ all right guys that's all my time that's for me and Anya thanks so much I'm so broke and I've got a girlfriend who's shaving my eyebrows off so please donate I need it Mwah. love you watch the rest of it. This next man is a swamp man from Louisiana. He's great. I love him so much. Uh, he, he runs a podcast called Starring Ryan Gosling and the tabletop comedy show Critical Hit. If this isn't long enough, he can send you more because this motherfucker has credits. Okay, put your hands together for Evan Rambelis. Ramblay. Ramblay. I'm so... I didn't see you there. Colton mispronounced my name, so I didn't even realize I was up next. Okay, cool. Uh, hi, my name is Evan Rabelais. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, things are great, huh? Just having a great time. I mean, it's my birthday Saturday. That's pretty fun, right? Having your birthday in a quarantine? Yeah, it's uh, a Venmo down there. It's, it's necessary. I lost my job. You know, quarantine's going great. It wasn't a good job. I'm not gonna pretend like it was. It was, it was shitty. It was it was retail. And uh, don't don't work retail. Just don't do it. You know, it's, it's bad for your health as a person. It, it hurts you on the inside. You know, like uh, I worked at a retail bookstore too. Because all here's all retail is. All retail is is you meeting the dumbest person you've ever met in your life, and then when they leave. The next person you meet is the dumbest person you've ever met in your life. And then when they walk in, what walk out, guess who walks in next? It's, it's the dumbest person you've ever met in your life, you know? That's all it really is. And I worked at a retail bookstore too, which you'd think would be a little more chill on the stupid people. But um, it's, it's not. Like, here's, a, here's something that happened to me every single day at that bookstore. A person would walk in, they would go, hi, I'm looking for a book. I don't know the title. I don't know the author. I know it has a blue cover. And I would go, I know exactly what book you're looking for. And then I would take them outside and I would throw them in the trash compactor. Yeah, I would do that every day. You know, uh, helping an older woman one time with the return of that bookstore. Needed some personal info from her. Go, all right, ma'am, can I have your email address? And she says, my house flooded. Okay. Can I have your email address? And she goes, I don't think you heard me. I don't have a home. Right. Well, I know of a lovely one bedroom apartment in this trash compactor. <laughs> Please follow me. Utilities included. I don't know. Retail, it just is bad for your soul as an employee, too. You know, like working at that bookstore, we had to fire a dude one time. Perfectly nice guy. We never had any issues uh, until one day he just uh, snapped and pulled a knife on a coworker. Yeah, you know, welcome to retail, bitch. Fuck you. Oh, it's great. And if we're being honest, the only reason we fired him is that he um is that he did it in front of customers. You know, come on, man, stay strong. Don't let them see you break. Uh, that's fun, right? You know. 
So I uh, let's see. I don't have a job. I'm recently single. That's fun. I'm recently single and still live with my ex girlfriend. She's she's right there. She is she is watching me flounder right now. That's fun. It's fun to humiliate yourself in front of the love of your life. Uh, listen. Now, I have a lot to say, but she knows how much I despise her right now. So it's all, it's all in good fun. Uh, she, was, she was actually pretty cool. She uh, had a lot of good qualities about her. Uh, she had this weird thing, though, for a long time. She had this almost like psychic ability to tell when other girls were flirting with me. You know, like I'll give you an example. Uh, one time I was at a show, went really well. It was actually at a venue with people. And uh, after the show, this drunk girl comes up to me and she goes, uh, hey, I liked your set. I don't know. Thank you very much. And she goes, what are you doing after the show? And then at that exact same moment, my girlfriend texted me and just said, I want to try more butt stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. What am I up to tonight? <laughs> Loyalty. Loyalty, that's what I'm up to tonight. Why don't you go uh, eat some bread, soak that booze up, fix your life, you know? Have fun with that. Uh, she, she was better than most of my ex-girlfriends uh, in a lot of ways, because most of my exes, they had this really weird tendency to, um, oh, what, what was it again? Um, oh, right, cheat on me in Disney World? Yeah, that does seem oddly specific for, uh, four women to do yeah four four women went to the happiest place on earth and just ruined our relationship while they were there that's fun that's great um and let me be very clear i i never brought a girl to disney world you know they all went there without me and then came home without me that's how that went you know they get back and go hey did you get me a souvenir and they go yeah i did meet alex yeah right there nice guy as well Super fun. Like if my girlfriend ever in the future wants to go to Disney World, I would have a fucking conniption. You know, just sitting there like, why? So you can fuck the whole country bear jamboree? I don't think so. All right? We're going to Universal. It's just as good. No, it isn't. <laughs> it sucks. I lied. Yeah, I might moonlight as a stand-up comic, but I gaslight as an abusive boyfriend. That's... That's what that's about. Uh, there's a minute left. What's one more joke? Oh, uh, okay. I'll tell a joke that I never tell at shows because crowds hate it because it's kind of racist. Okay. Ah. Uh, I always heard a lot of people say that it was racist, that the Black Power Ranger was played by a Black guy. And it was. Um, but I always thought that it was more racist, that the Yellow Ranger, yeah, the Asian girl, Way more racist that she died in a car accident a few years later. Okay, goodbye. Evan. Now we know why we, all those men took your girlfriend to the magic rail. I was waiting for that. I was, I was really hoping that you were gonna say, oh, your, your girlfriend got hooked on the monorail or something. There's something joke there. Uh, hi, I'm Colton. I'm that guy that all the girls hate for tagging their jokes. Hi, I'm annoying and awful. Welcome back. If you guys are just joining us, we're running a bit of a comedy show here. Not a regular one. You can talk and yell at us. I think it's time to bring up your next comedian. He's a little bit of a little bit of a sweetheart, but so fucking lonely. Ugh. Give it up for Emilio Babut. Sweet. My name's Emilio. Uh, 
quarantine, I'm gonna use this as a mic, crazy times, right? Um, my grocery store ran out of lunch meat, so I had to go to PetSmart. Jeez Louise, it's, it's about, uh, in case you're wondering, uh, it's 40 gerbils to make a Reuben, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm part of the uh, slut community, which is just, you know, sorry, I'm, we got hit pretty hard with this whole coronavirus thing. And, uh, you know, it sucks because gas prices are, they're so low normally that means I kind of get to, you know, maybe drive to Round Rock or something to pick up some digits. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> uh, so... I don't know. Plan B. We talk about Plan B, I guess. Uh, you know, say what you will about it. A, a lot of people talk about Plan B. A lot of people have opinions. I'll say this: out of all the options for contraceptives, Plan B definitely feels the best. You know, because it means you you drop one deep, which is you know that's all I know how to do because I was uh, you know raised on a farm. So and it's just how we stay warm in the winter and everything. Uh, <clears throat> I'm totally kidding. Uh, so I'm kind of a, uh, I'm a dumb guy. I'm a dumb slut, actually. So it's been rough, this whole science virus thing. And, uh, you know, not being able to make sweet love because it's uh, infective or whatever. So uh, <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I found out that a... Uh, a human trafficking ring is not the same thing as a roundabout. You know, I just, my cousin was telling the story about how one of his friend's sisters got caught in a human trafficking ring in, in, uh, in Colombia, I think. And uh, I was just like, why don't you just turn left? You know, just turn right. Anyways, that's fun. Um, my grandma, my grandma has been staying with us since this whole thing went down and uh, she kind of had the realization that uh, I'm not Christian. She found out somehow recently that I'm not really into the whole Christianity thing. So she decided to give me a Bible. And uh, this is a couple of days ago. She gave me the Bible and she was like, you just need to, you know, you just need to, you just need to read it. You just need to give it a chance. You know, you just need to, you just need to read it and give it a chance. Which is, you know, it's pretty funny when you find someone's not Christian. I think the Bible might be the worst thing to present them with to change their opinion, you know? <laughs> it's like, I don't like brownies. If somebody came up to you and was like, you know what? You really just need to read the recipe. Then you'll understand. That's, you know, or like if I don't like football and someone's like, you know what you should check out is the uh, 4,000 page unillustrated rule book. That's, uh, New jokes. I'm so horny. Fuck, I'm so horny. This has been so bad. Been having sex dreams. A whole lot of sex dreams. Fuck, it's fucked up. Sex dreams suck. Because they're never... When you have a sex dream, at least in my case, it's never with, like, you know, someone I'm attracted to. It's always someone completely like the gardener. Why? Why is that happening? I don't know why my sexual subconscious has to put me in these fucked up situations. You just wake up after banging my landlord like, what the f***? You know. Anyways, yeah, this is what I'm going through. This is the first time I've ever spoke today, I think. Isn't that fun? Go ahead and Venmo me a dollar if this is... Well, I guess you're not speaking. That's all fun. I, I wish I could tell my being at work. I'll tell one being at work joke. I'm fired, by the way, obviously, because everybody's dying. Uh, this was about four months ago, back when I worked at the good old sandwich shop. Rest in peace, Austin Daily Press. Um, my boss hired this new guy, and um, he comes in the building, right? And I had never met him yet. My boss had just hired this new guy. And it was, it was his first day. I hadn't met him yet. And uh, he comes in through the side door, the new guy. He comes in and he, he comes up to introduce himself to me. And he just goes, hey, dude, what's up? My name's Alex. 
I mean, Jesse. What the fuck, dude? It's unbelievable. Anyways, um, I think that's all I have the time for. I don't know how much time I have. Time is meaningless. Oh, there's the one minute bell. I'm just going to dip out now and get blackout shit faced. Thank you so much. Am I allowed to leave? Emilio Babbitt? Sounds like you're having a bunch of sex dreams about dudes. Nope. You should do something about that. You're tall enough to like very much have an all day pass. And I just want to say it publicly. You're welcome. Hey, is that? No, that's fine. Hey, we've got another great comedian. And she's one of my favorite people in Austin. She's a sweetheart. And she runs a little thing called Mr. Tramps. If you've been there, you know, it's a little bit controversial. But she's going to bring that vibe, I think, tonight. Give it up. Put your hands together for Leah Maroney. Leah Maroney. Pepperoni. Mel. is the most attention I've gotten in a while because I miss having all eyes on me. Um, I think we're all enjoying being in quarantine, huh? We having a good time? I definitely got to tell you, I feel really bad for anyone stuck at home with the fucking baby right now. That sounds miserable. I'm definitely glad that I live alone. Uh, in the spirit of being isolated, being quarantined, having to stay home, I think we've had to all start to like cook for ourselves a lot more. And I wanted to share one of my favorite recipes with you guys, you know, just to get you through this tough time. If you like me aren't moving enough, you're going to want a light, simple dinner. So I have the perfect three ingredient dinner for you guys. Okay. I'm going to tell you in France, they call this bad boy a la boisson. And I think you're going to love it. So the first thing you're going to need for your la boisson, also known as, a cocktail is a glass. This is my favorite one. She's cute, right? Thank you to my friend Allegra for this one. So you take your glass for your La Boisson or your cocktail, as I like to call it. Then you get yourself some ice. Now, as you can see, I am using uh, store-bought ice because I think it's just as good. But if you prefer homemade, you certainly can make your own ice at home. It's super simple. I hear people do it all the time, but me, I just... Easy, quick, right off the shelf when we're ready to go. So you're gonna wanna take your ice. We're gonna start with about this much. Put it in my glass here. Maybe a little more, I don't know. It's really a do it to taste, personal preference. I think we're probably good. Now your second ingredients. I like to support local businesses. Got myself some Tito's handmade, so they say. Now, this is also to taste, so I would say you know, whatever makes you feel right. Once you do that, you get the finest seltzer water in all the land, support local business. I hope you guys are having fun. I certainly am. And then ready, this is all about the technique. You gotta do this just perfectly. Oh, the perfect pour every time, every time. Okay, now that you've made your light dinner for your quarantine, let's dish, huh? So I've been uh, talking to people about, people are dating during the quarantine. They're deciding to do this. They're getting on dating apps. Oh, do you guys wanna, let's play a game. You guys can drink when I drink. So we're all gonna have a little more fun throughout these next few minutes. Now. So what I've heard is people are going on FaceTime first dates, okay? 
I'm smart. I started dating someone right before this quarantine hit because I just, it's cool. But now it's like the woman's job to suddenly be the impressive one, right? It's like, oh, we're on a date in my studio apartment, six feet away from my kitchen. I got to pretend I can cook. I went to the store with this dude the other day and the words lemon's dust flew out of my mouth faster than I knew what to do with them. I swear. It's like, I'm an Italian girl. My inner stregonona awakened. And I just, I was like, okay, I blacked out. I woke in this kitchen. I had half a lemon in my hand, had a knife in the other hand. I was like, okay, it's too late to pin. I don't know what I'm doing. We ended up eating fettuccine coated in butter and cheese. That was fine. Um, <laughs> that's about what's going on in my life. Uh, I don't know. You, uh, if you guys want to ask me questions in the chat, you can feel free to do that. I'm just kind of shooting the shit with you here. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like trying to grocery shop in bulk has felt expensive to me. So I'm wondering if it's too late to secure a sugar daddy. Just to like bulk order me groceries and get delivered. It's like, I don't know. I know I can't meet him in person, but is it too late to barter feet pics for it? That sounds harmless, right? They can't find me. They can't leave the house. How are they going to stalk me? Um, I don't know. I am glad that I started uh, dating someone right before this all hit because it's like, you're what are you going to stop dating me now? Like, it's me or nobody. So things would have to be really bad. So if you got to get out of it after that, I totally understand. I can be a little insufferable. Um, <laughs> wow. This is, uh, I'm so glad you guys are looking at me. This is like, uh, is it fun? Are we enjoying it? I'm having uh, another drink. I always talk fast. I wish that I didn't. I don't know. Uh, I can post my drink recipe in the comments and maybe you guys can tell me how to properly zest a lemon and add a cream base to a sauce, something like that. Uh, let's see. Anyone got a question for me? Ask Liz for sugar daddy. I don't know. I feel like uh... <laughs> I love <laughs> Oh my God, you guys in your comments. Oh, do you know, how do you know which noodles to get? Oh, in what? Oh, that was the bell. What kind of noodles? Wait, what are you? <laughs> you should always get fresh noodles. Oh yeah, no butt chugs um, during the quarantine. Um, that can be dangerous and spread germs. Um, you guys just like pick like four people to drink with and we'll get through this together. And I'm so glad that you're all looking at my face. Um, good night. Uh, we'll call them boissons, though, especially when they're in the bed. Bed boissons. I could say that French word. Huh, weird. How about another comedian? How about just the last two comedians? We only have two comedians left. You'll have to tune in on Friday. But boy, are you in for a treat. This next comedian has been formally seen all over clubs before this whole thing. You know, she's been on the stage with Vanessa Gonzalez, an Austin uh, local. And... Maria Banford and Beth Stelling, who, by the way, is not enjoying this pandemic. Please put together, actually, no, one more. She has, of course, one more because this is, a, uh, she's great. You can find her on a few episodes of the fictional podcast, Under the Shroud. <laughs> put your hands together now. It's weird. You're in your own house. Put your hands together for Melody Shiflet. In your... Happy Friday, guys. <laughs> uh, just kidding. I, I know what day it is. Um, yeah, things have been good. Yeah, so 
So how's it going? Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been letting it all hang out. I, I'm going to be honest, really. It's, um, it's, a. Uh, it's it's weird out there, you know. Um, I've just been, honestly, you know, getting getting higher than a hospital bill. Okay, <laughs> you know? uh, it's like, but give it up for our medical people, right? Like, what heroes? Honestly, I can't. Like, I I used to want to be a nurse. <laughs> Can you, no, this is no, that's, that's a bad, uh, I would make a terrible nurse, um, obviously, I, uh, this is my impression of, of me as a nurse, here it goes, ew, <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at it, it's no, it's not good, uh, I was, uh, I was dating someone right before this who works at a grocery store, um, yeah, so now he's basically a firefighter. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's pretty hot, you know, like the grocery store element. I gotta say, uh, you know, it's I can't wait to see him in eighteen months. <laughs> it's it's like again, ew, people. Uh, yeah, I, I'd imagine like porn's gonna be weird after this. It's gonna be a lot of grocery store porn, I think. Um, you guys. Uh, uh, this is, this is weird. It's like, it, it's very like, um, <laughs> yeah, it's very, uh, I don't know, vintage. It feels to have a pandemic, like, you know, it's like very twenties. <laughs> uh, it's very Spanish flu. I think I'm going to get into like waist training or something, you know, just make it a little more appropriate, like, you know, start making hooch and calling people daddy-o. <laughs> It was like, uh, you know, also it's a, something all very 1920s, like no abortions were like fighting for the right, a right to uh, the right to vote. It's uh, <laughs> I stopped talking to people a while ago. Uh, yeah. Well, let's get into it, guys. You guys buying nudes? Who buys nudes? No, just go ahead and yeah, you guys buying nudes? Uh, <laughs> No, somebody, uh, somebody hit me up on, on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, normally when people hit me up on Instagram, it's like, like some dude from India being like, send milk. You know? <laughs> and uh, that's always fun. Uh, but no, this person was like super polite, you know, um, and they wanted to buy a nude. And um, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> what's up? right uh yeah and uh you know so it's it's like somebody walking into a store that you didn't know you own and operate you know they're just like hey are you guys open and you're like yeah <laughs> i am actually uh yeah it's it's weird i mean this is where i'm at emotionally guys it's like um like, you know, that story, Hansel and Gretel, I was reading that the other day, and you know, the witch in the woods. It was like, at least she owns her home. <laughs> uh, that's good. And she's doing what she loves, uh, which is eating children. So, you know, that's, self-care comes first. Um, I don't even know, you know, um, where I'm at. Like, to also say where I'm at emotionally, like, I, I did, I did start, uh, you know, or it stopped wearing a bra before, uh, before all this. And uh, yeah, Leah's right. Like, seriously, the Austin just liberates the titties. Like, it's true. They're just out there. And uh, I don't know, you'd, <laughs> I think you'd have to chase me and catch me and, and put me in bra at this point. <laughs> I think, I think post this, I'm going to be like a uh, Nell, you know, like coming out speaking my own language. Just, uh, I don't know, covered in my own armpit hair. I, uh, you know, but uh, I've, been, I've been thinking of doing yoga. And then thinking about it a lot. And that's exciting. <laughs> just, just thinking about it. Um, I am growing out my mustache. So that's... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's time for a little more like more stately, 
you know, I want something that says, um, and you know, my, my forehead wrinkles and grays are coming in. So I'm kind of looking like George Clooney, honestly. I think it's little George Clooney. Is it Robert? Drop which dude I, I look like in the, in the comments and then, you know, uh, tip, tip accordingly. Um, <laughs> so if you think I look like George Clooney, that's obviously more. Uh, no, thank you guys for coming out. Um, thank you for experimenting with us. Um, I appreciate you very much and uh, we'll see you next time. Melody Shiflet doesn't look like that. You see her in person, you're like, oh, you photograph differently. Our sarcastic jokes, I'm, I feel like I'm doing a, a dad joke thing now. Quarantine is not good for me, but you know what is good for you? Your next and final comedian. This man is a joy. <sighs> you're just not ready, and I need you to make some claps in your own house. This man created and hosts The Glow Show, which has been featured in LA and at least Austin, but more, I'm sure. And maybe he'll tell you all about it. But please, make some noise in your own house for Joey Zimmerman. Make some noise in your own house. Well, oh, Joey What's up, everybody? It's me, Joey Z. I do host The Glow Show. I was going to be in Los Angeles right now. I would be getting back to Austin tomorrow. So, <laughs> miss the tour, miss life, but that's what's, that's, you know, whatever. So, quarantine time, uh, I've been playing some music. So, I'm going to play a song since comedy is too difficult. I'm going to, I also don't sing well, so don't make fun of me. Uh, this is a song called Horse by A.B. Tear. It's pretty fun. So have a good time. Thank you.
That's a song by A.B. Tear. He's in a band called Animal Collective. You should eat some acid and listen to him. Oh, hey. I don't know how much time's left. Maybe some quick things. Hope everyone is staying healthy and washing their hands. Anyone got a what's your wash your hands song? This is mine. Here you go. You put your hands in the sink. <laughs> Get ready. And you go, uh, I went skydiving. Rocky Mountain climbing. I got fucked in the butt by a bull named Fu Manchu. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> That's what I sing every time I wash my hands. All right. <laughs> Check. Maybe one joke. Um, here's another one. I went to go pet this dog my friend had. And I was like, I love this dog. And they were like, it's actually a foster. You can have it if you want. And then I was like, Ah, no, ah, no, I just, ah, that was it. It's the rest of the joke. Um, party gets better the long it goes. Hey, check this out. This is my cat. This is my cat, Wima. This is little Bimby. Say, hey, Bimby. Sometimes she talks, but I guess not today. Off to her, off on her own things. Um, well, that's going to be all for me. I wanted to just play that song. Hope everyone enjoyed it, and I hope everyone's staying healthy. Uh, give it up for all the comics that you saw. I do host a thing called Glow Show. Here's some Glow Show. Here's some merch. Glow Show tea. That baby glows in the dark, or black light. That's the one, the black light. Um, when this all goes away, if I'm on tour and I'm in your city, say what's up. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night. Bye-bye. I love Joey Z, but I did not hear any of that song. Uh, I think it was a metronome or something else, but it, it wasn't my fault. It never is. But you know what? Thank you so much for coming. We do this on Tuesdays and Fridays now. Friday is in for a little special treat because we're doing sh uh, comics from elsewhere. So we got some very, very good comedians. You will see them if you're here on Friday. But please, you know, show some love to the comedians, but also some acknowledgments. We would not be doing this without Richard Goodwin, who's running the tech on all of this. So make some noise in your own house for Richard Goodwin. Also, we probably wouldn't have done this out uh, without uh, Laura Smith. Um, she brought us all together and was like, hey, this is a good idea. And we're like, yeah, it's a good idea. She's like, oh, we should do this. And I was like, well, great, awesome. And Valerie Lopez, by the way, is killing it. 
um, running everything, making sure all the comedians who do not have their lives together, um, she's bringing us all together. So, oh, sorry. There's so many people that made this happen. Derek Kopswa made the sounds. All the music, that's him. Um, well, so thank you. And I will see you again next week. And if you love me, and I know you do love me because I've been giving you it by all, um, just give me $1 on Kickstarter, which is my web series. <sighs> and then enjoy yourself and be safe. But most of all, give me that dollar on Kickstarter. Oh no, your computer froze. <laughs> just kidding. See you on Friday. Bye.